Alright guys, and welcome to episode 40. Alright, as you can see, the initial startup image has changed. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, hmm. Well, thanks to the comment in the, well, in the vid previous video, I did check out the stock milk sale sign. You saw me putting that down last episode. I have discovered also that I can now put it into a sell point and set a price for it. So instead of earning 10, 15 grand, we're now earning roughly two-ish, and that's still really, really good for what current prices and production rates are. I think my cows are producing 15, no more, they're producing a lot more litres than what they should anyway. Uh, Worked it out the average, they should be producing about 1500 litres per day on 63 cows, or 63 head, yeah, <laughs> I've got some super cows. But we knew that anyway, because they've been a problem. Not happy with the trying to balance everything out. But, yeah, I've gone against what I said as well. The short person is with us. Ah, yeah, the rat. <laughs> She's already whinging. <laughs> Luckily, though, she let me add a lay in. So I've had a bit of peace and quiet. I managed to get a few things done. Yes, I have reorganised the farm. In the interest of cutting back, now I've got the prices a lot better. Uh, yeah, I'm down on money. <laughs> I'm literally losing money every day. So, we were minus three at the end of the harvest. End of summer we were minus three. Uh, sold a few barns. So, that one that was there, that one that was there, and that one that was there. So, I've not moved any of the equipment about yet. So, this is where we're at. And I do have a plan for those tatey boxes. But we'll come back to that another day. So, yeah, I moved this one from there where the bale thing is to here and we're going to use that now that's got us a few more pennies because we don't need a farm this size for the operation we've got going and I've also figured out an easy way of resetting your uh, when you edit your grass it always stays when you come back into your save game you have to start removing other files find out if you remove the fruit, the fruit density grill file G-R-L-E it wipes everything out and then the game reloads itself as it was initially. Whatever you have saved in your map folder, the initial startup phase is what will reload. So, I've had a play about. As you can see, there is some grass now that is resisting. But I didn't do too bad, we were pretty close. I'll just send that round on the plough when we come round to it and he'll climb, tidy that up nicely. I was also going to level this field off a bit. And I haven't quite done that yet, so I'll have to go smooth that before we plant anything. But until something's planted, we're good. As soon as we're not planted, then we have to worry. So yeah, everything's harvested, so I'll be able to get away with this. Which means we've also... can now show you around the new bee farm. Because it doesn't look stupid anymore. I think everything's on the floor. <laughs> yeah, ooh, that's close. That is not on the floor, is it? <laughs> oh well. A few more edits need to be made then. But yes. The new beef farm, or the dairy beef farm. Oh, she has toys. Uh -oh. well, this is going to be our supply shed. Here we have, I believe, one of these is compound feed, one of them is silage maybe? Yes. Because then we have, oh, find out, can't we? Yeah, we've got grain over here, potatoes over here, straw, compound feed, and silage. This is where we're going to start everything. Now the little devils themselves are running around quite happily with their mothers in the field. God, these guys are low on straw as well. Yes, yeah, so we have a couple of them dotted around as you can see. They're little monsters. Oh. Really, we're stuck on a cow. You do get stuck on a cow. <laughs> hmm. I remember having that trouble a lot with the telehandlers back in 13. Yeah, the little terrors are running around here. This is mine, he's running around the living room. Quite a few of them are behind the gate now. Oh, we'll chase them out when the time comes. Got make the jump, there we go. Yes, we're looking a lot better. Turn my speed up, there we go. So I've got rid of all the grass now by removing that fruit density grill. It's loaded the default game, so I've had to edit the default map to do what I want it to do now but we're good that's looking pretty cool I'm happy this is the manure pit for the beef 
I was thinking about putting them side by side, but as they've got collisions on them, I didn't think it would like that. I did have a, a panic moment with, to do with a tree that was located around here. and It was clipping something, but I couldn't get back in the game to see what. I tried moving it right out the way up into the sky, it was not having it. Deleted it, and finally got back into the game. This, however, is an issue. This is because this field is ploughed underneath here. So we just turned it into a field, so now we have wheat. If I'd have figured out the uh Yeah, if I'd have figured out what I'm doing now beforehand, it would have made life a lot easier. But because that's a cultivated thing, we have the weed problem going on in here. But eventually it will disappear, we just gotta wait for them to uh suck all the nutrients up and they won't come back. Give them a bit of time and they'll do that. See so whatever weeds were here. I've wiped it out, that's gone down to one. Wherever it was. Come on, where's the gotta find it now? But yes. I'm happy. We can move forward. See all the fields are done, all the shop straw still remains. So that's a different grill file. Same with the weeds and the soil mod, all different grill files. So all that we've lost was the fruit. Uh, crops and such that we had planted which was zero because we didn't have any but now we've got the issue as well we're going to have to cut back on some of the machinery so what are we going to use and what aren't we going to use well I don't know <laughs> oh we do don't we I don't, rent, I don't think I rented it where's that gone Aha! We have the big bent nuts, so we can get rid of the little one. Which means redoing all the courses again. Ugh. But, not much point in having it. Oh, well, yeah, it's uh, uh, To be honest, I'm not going to use a front loader again, I don't think. I really don't think I am, not now I've got the JCV. So, that can go. That can go. We're obviously keeping the header. Tedder, we need hair bales. That. Yeah, we need that. 26 metres. I don't think there's much point in us keeping that. Everything costs us money that we don't need, so bye bye. I'm probably full of stuff as well, that. Oh well. This is for the telehandler, so we're not getting rid of that. Telehandler, keeping that. Chainsaw. That doesn't cost us anything, we'll keep the chainsaw then. That costs us something. Uh, obviously keeping the JCB, keeping that, the plough, yes we need the plough, that's a 19 metre, hmm, yeah, well we're gonna, we'll keep that one, we'll get rid of the blue one, we're keeping that, do we need the overloader, do we really need the overloader, the answer is no, but I bet it's full of seed, Uh, if it's full of seed, it's going nowhere. Huh. There isn't actually that much in it. I need to adjust that so I can pour that back into there, then we're good. <laughs> yeah, stay of execution on the U. Uh, tell me how to tell me how to tell me how to tell me Come on, where are we? Where were we? There we are. That thing. It's useful. That essential. Now this is actually had an update. Uh, it now, if you remember, I mentioned it didn't have lights on it. Well, other people mentioned it as well. So he's actually made a version with lights and a beacon. How cool! But as you can see, I've packed it away. I don't use it anymore. So, not much point in having it. But then again. Is it one of these things you can keep around the farm? Stay of execution. That. Time I got. Good times with that. Hell of a lot of cedar. Keep you, keep you. Because the major has not been re released on FSUK yet. Oh, that's so frustrating. It popped up for a bit and then it got taken down. And it seems like nobody I know EB has actually got the damn thing. <laughs> I've no idea what the errors were that it found with it, was fixing them, testing it, so we'll just have to 
be patient, I suppose. Mowers. We don't actually have anything to mow at the minute. Yikes. We have two trailers. Do we really need two trailers? Ah. To be honest, no. I only ever find myself using one. Hmm. Oh, we need to cut back. And it's looking like one of the tractors is going to go as well. Oh, I don't know what to do. do we, yeah, we do need. We don't need. How many times have I actually used that thing? Once. I don't use bull parts anymore. Yeah, you're gone. For selling the liquid manure. If we ever need to do it, I can probably rent that back in. Oh, it does milk as well. Hmm, cool. Yeah, if we ever need it back, I can probably rent it back if we need it. There's nothing else going to confuse us in there, so yeah, we'll get rid of that then. You have to stay, because you're done. We've got you. Yes, we're going to need you again. Oh, never getting rid of the weights. Bale spikes. They were very useful, but actually, hmm, we're going to have to use a mixed dude, aren't we? So it's probably going to be a best intro. No, because we're not using that, we're using the telehandler. So I'm going to have to edit the telehandler one. Mm -hmm. That was something to do at a later date. That. That's a high hitch, isn't it? That's why I'm keeping that. Hmm. Bumpers. To be honest, I don't use them. I should have used them a lot more, really. I just keep forgetting. The case. The case, the case, the case, the case. Now, we have a self propelled sprayer, so we don't have to go spraying with a tractor anymore now. So, goodbye, my little friend. You. I think I've used it once. Offload. The deer stays because it's more power than the case. Oh, is it? No, it's not. Have I just sold the wrong one? <laughs> no, I think that's labelled up wrong. It's uh, 213. The night, just bought that, that's staying. The blue one, that's gone. The truck, oh yeah, that's staying. Right, we have self propelled, we are not going to be using that anymore. Get rid of that. And again. We definitely need that. I haven't used that yet, but we will be needing it. Placeable heaps. Yeah, we've still got a couple of them kicking around. We do need the power arrow. That stays. When was the last time we actually went wrapping bales? Hmm. I wonder if we should go back to that. Rather than trying to use the silage clamp. Because silage clamp costs more money to operate, but you do get more silage. We don't even have a meadow yet. Ah, but we can go buy one. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright then, decisions, decisions. Uh, we have to mow it, break it, and pick it up. We've just sold the uh, doodah. I think silage bales might be a better option for us. Hmm. I really think they might. Which means we can get rid of the wind haze. We can, uh, we'll get in contracts if we need to do a big silage and that stays because that's really useful. I think that's everything cleaned out then. I thought we had more. I really thought we had more. Hmm. Oh god, a triple bell spike here. Yeah, that's not good, is it? I'm going to have to work with that then. Yeah, so that's going to have to go into the blender and get attacked. But at least it only needs these two removing. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'll have to make a mod of that one. But we'll get there. 
Right then. Where are we at then? So we've only got two tractors now. I sold that thing that was there, the big orange one, because we just don't need it. It's lying around doing nothing. So we've got a nice bit of money back and hopefully yeah, if I'm not gonna be things lying around the farm that you don't actually need. Uh, to be honest, I don't work far enough away to warrant having two marshals either. So, um, if we do need two, we've got that. Which is handy having down here for him to bomb about with because it's a high hitch. That's a low hitch, that's a low hitch. We do need a tractor down here to do all the other jobs. Uh, silage bales could go up against that wall quite happily. Group 5 now needs to become group 4. So we've got tiny, tiny little toys up here. Hmm. That needs to come out of there because I forget where the hell it is. Now I have to jump once. But yeah, I think it's time we moved on to six metre stuff, so that would mean scrapping that as well. But I don't think I've sorted out the bigger one yet. I don't think I've had a proper go with it. I'm sure we had to do a couple of things. So I'll have to have a look at that off camera. And these guys need to move under the shed. Out the way, you're under there. Case. by my friend. But that means we also have an extra weight. Uh, we don't need. Watch it sell a different one. Yep. <laughs> Alright, who just lost a weight? Fast track. <laughs> it's always the way, isn't it? You just knew it was going to do that. Uh, I've also going to upload the current courses because I'm going to edit them. So you will get the courses as they are right now. Next episode, that'll be gone, that'll be gone. Yeah, it's, that'll be gone, that'll be gone, that'll be gone, that'll be gone. Again, stuff we don't need, probably aren't going to use again. Wrong trailer. Does have a trailer? <laughs> right, so I'll send you home to pick up your weight. Right, so guys, I'm going to tidy up this farm a little bit more. Where is everything over here then? Nothing's left up there lying around now. No, good, good. All that's left in there is him. So we can put the knight in there. And you can see the other parts of the arms are there. The machine itself is there. We got rid of the fence as well, finally. And the combine. That was up in the corner, that's been gone. So it's made us a nice little wad. Well, to be honest, then, I'm not going to end it just here. I'm going to go and uh, decide on a field. We need a field to turn into a meadow. Ah, oh, there, I've been alfalfa again. Hmm. I was thinking about field three. But because we need everything down at the farm, that's a long way to drag the bales. But 13 is massive. Hmm. I don't know what to do. We could get 13, take it straight across there, use half of it for the meadow and the other half as a crop. Well, that's going to offset our uh, things again, isn't it? Hmm. I just don't know what to do. We could sell field 10. Because it's on the little. I'm not saying that's so these guys out there. I was, yeah, I was thinking field three, but <laughs> to be honest, that one would be a better field to use. Field twelve would be better to turn into a meadow, and field three would be better, if not field seven, actually, to work as crop. 
Well, let's have a little uh, drive around, see what we're up against. Do a buggy start. It. I got to get used to double tapping the Y key again now. The drive control, you just held it down. Where are we going? We're going up there now. We're straight down the middle. Right then, so field three is this one here. That's a long field, but there's no width to it. Uh, how does it compare then? It's a long field, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. It's a nice, decent size. I've got teleport, I don't know, am I driving? <laughs> and you get down here, now this is a big field, look at that. Yeah, this would be real, that's fat. This quarter here would be good enough for our grass. Yeah, we're having field 13 because we can use that then for crop. He's going to knock the uh, rotation out again there. Oh, I could use fill 12 for grass and then use this for crop. Ooh, that would be good. That would be good. I don't think Cosplay is going to like too much this edge, but we can work with that. We can work around it. Yes, this is the field. So then. Field 13, 79. Bye. Bought it. We're good. Uh, bad news is we don't have any silage for this coming year. However, I have heard on good authority and the fact that I put it here. <laughs> right on, right on. Yes, the uh, farm shop is selling silage. Just put your trailer under there and away you go. Don't want to sell anything else. No, they don't sell anything else. I was hopeful we're going to start selling compound feed, make life even easier, but no, but we have silage for the winter. These guys have it in abundance and are selling it at full price. There's no mates rates, but we're covered on silage. Yeah, so we'll leave field three for now. We'll go turn field 11 into a meadow. There we go, a bit of drifting. I'll sort out the other six metre kit. And we'll go from there. I'm not quite sure on what to use as a cultivator though. But we don't need to be in the farm, we need to be here. Uh, yeah. I just had a sudden thought that we're going to wipe that out and we're going to chuckle. <laughs> ah, I did do a little bit of drive work as well, look. Put some cobblestones down. I've got a bit more space here for the truck. There we go. So yeah, the jobs are uh, take the farm up to six meters. So bigger planter, bigger cultivator. Uh, can't get a bigger power arrow because nobody's done one. Oh, they have. Ago's released his, hasn't he? I wonder. I don't actually know what the power limit is on it. But the fast track can't be far off it. And the John Deere itself, that's 213. Ooh, that's nice. That is nice. I wonder if we can get a bigger. Uh, they're all trailed plows now, though, aren't they? Yeah, they're going to trailed. I think we'll stay with the same plow then. Which is going to make use of the 3 metre car that I put so much effort into doing. <laughs> But everything else is going to go six meters. Uh, I do have the Joker, don't I? I'll have to relook at the Joker then. Uh, we'll keep. Yeah. So, things to do. Things to do. Right, guys. I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. I will upgrade the farm to six meter stuff, and we will go from there. Catch you next time, guys. Thanks. Bye.